Buenas and half a day, Guahu si Pulen, and this is Pulen Speaks. And today we are going to cover na. Na is a linking particle in that it connects words together. For this lesson, we will exclusively cover how na is used to connect non noun modifiers with nouns, aka noun modification. By now, you should be able to construct stative sentences, such as the man is happy, the car is broken, and the dog is big. But what if you just wanted to say happy man, broken car, and big dog? Then all you need to do is follow the following formula. Modifier plus na plus headword. A modifier is any type of descriptive word, such as an adjective or an adverb. The head word, in this case, is a noun that is being modified. In other words, being described by the modifier. And the linking particle na connects the modifier with the head word. Here is an example. Dikiki na galagu, which means small dog. Dikiki is the modifier, as it is describing the headword, gatlagu. While na doesn't directly translate to as anything, at least in this case, na is crucial to have, as it is what allows the modifier to be connected with the headword. We could describe the headword however we want by just replacing the modifier with any other modifier, and the same could also be said with the head word. Now that we know how to modify nouns, let's go back to those sentences from the beginning. In order to say happy man, broken car, and big dog, then all we need to do is replace the article e with the linking particle na, as the formula for modifying nouns is similar to state of sentences. This results in Magov na lahi, Matsulang na kareta, and Dunkalu na katlagu. In order to say the happy man, the broken car, and the big dog, then all you need to do is place the article e, which often translates to as the, in front of the modified noun. When na follows a modifier which ends in a vowel, it is usually reduced to ne. For example, idunkalu natgalagu becomes idunkalun gatlagu. Let's replace the other modifiers with modifiers that ends with vowels to show more examples. When reduce, itristinalahi becomes i tristin lahi, and i betdina kareta becomes i betdin kareta. For now, I advise you to not worry about reducing na, as it means the same exact thing, and it's another thing to know. Eventually, when you get more comfortable modifying nouns, then you could freely reduce na as you please. Nouns could take on more than one modifier at a time. Take the sentence Ibunita na palauin, the beautiful girl. In order to expand this to say the beautiful and generous girl, then all you need to do is add the additional modifier geftao and place the connector zan, which translates to as and in between the two modifiers. This results in ibunita zan geftao na palauen, the beautiful and generous girl. Theoretically, we could add as many modifiers as we want, such as ibunita geftao zan malati na palauen, the beautiful, generous, and smart girl. And similar to English, we just need to place Zan only once, and that is between the last modifier and the second to last modifier, 
as if we were to place Zan in between all the modifiers, we would end up with the beautiful and generous and smart girl. And if you were wondering, yes, this also applies to stative sentences. If we were to just replace the linking particle na with the article e, we would end up with the girl is beautiful, generous, and smart. Pluralizing modified nouns is the same process as pluralizing stative sentences. Add man to the modifier and optionally add siha following the noun. And if the noun refers to people, you may optionally add man to the noun itself. Although watch out for any irregular nouns as the standard pluralization rules don't apply. Pluralizing the following, ibetti nakaretta, imanbetti nakaretta siha, i agugwa na pakgun, i man agugwa na famagun, i malik na matgas, i man malik na matgas siha. If there is more than one modifiers, then we would just add man to the additional modifiers, such as iloka zan zomuk na tautau, i man loka zan man zomuk na man siha. Using modified nouns in stative sentences would be the same as using an unmodified noun. The formula for constructing stative sentences is noun or modifier plus noun or pronoun. So take apaka i gima, the house is white. If we wanted to say the small house is white, then we would modify the noun guma with dikiki. This results in apaka i dikiki na guma, the small house is white. Here are the rest of the examples. Tsamoru iloka nalahi. The tall man is Tsamoru. And Nyaleng i masok sok na estudiante. The skinny student is hungry. To pluralize, we would apply all the rules we know. Man apaka i mandikiki na guma siha. Man yamoru i maloka. Nalalahi and Manyaling i man masok sok na man estudiante siha. Na may also be used to connect numbers with nouns beyond the number one, such as dos na pakun, tres na estudiante, and siete na guihan. If you use a number that is three or higher, then you may optionally pluralize the noun. However, if you use a irregular plural noun, then you need to use the pluralized form, such as tres na famagu'un, quatru na menyetlu, and siati namenyaina. It's a common mistake among beginners to use the modifier plus na plus headword formula to modify nouns with noun modifiers, such as inizuk na chonku, itsamoru na songsong, and ikurian na tenda to form the coconut tree the Tsamoru village, and the Korean store. Don't do this. This is grammatically incorrect, as this formula should be only used to modify nouns with non-noun modifiers. In order to modify nouns with noun modifiers, in order to say those, 
then you need to use a different formula that doesn't involve na, which I will cover in the next episode of Pulan Speaks Tamoru. Seduce Masi for watching. This is Pulan Speaks, and Pulan has spoken. Astaki manali ihit tatlu. Esta. Oh